Hey, uh, welcome to the uh, JPC uh, Corbel video. You know, uh, this this was brought up with uh, JPC. He was talking about corbels, making some kind of a, a corbel. And, uh, you know, I, I make corbels, and uh, I've done corbels, and I, I've made them pretty simple. But it, it's really the chamfer, the chamfer at the end of a corbel. That's, so, that's sort of tricky to do, and there's a, there's a number of ways to do it. But I'm just going to explore one way of doing it, and that is using the truncated pyramid at the uh, using a truncated pyramid. So here I go uh, over to uh, slab tools. No, go over to sh this one right here. This is whatever, and I can select a pyramid, and I'm going to put a pyramid right there. Oh, I, th I thought I was. Oh, there, there's my pyramid right there. Okay, and and I can see that. I I just built a pyramid. It's a sh uh, what is this? Is it is it a uh, it's a pyramid. I, th I think it's a shape. I think it's a uh, what are the, what are these called? Not objects. They're called uh, objects. I I forget what they're called. Uh, it's a, sl a slab pyramid. Anyway, bottom line is I'm going to turn this into a four by four corbel with chamfered edges. Okay, so how do I do that? You first of all, it's a four by four, and then I'm going to turn it into a symbol, and I'm going to be able to stretch it and all that other stuff. That's that's the whole point of this thing. So I know I want to be truncated. And I know I want four sides, and I want the sides of the length to be the length 3.5 inches because this is a, uh, yeah, whatever. And now I know because it's uh, um, three and a half, so I, I know I want to be control uh, U, I want it to be uh, the apex, I want it to be it was three and a half inches square, so I want it uh, three and a half divided by two is one and three quarters, 1.7. Seven five, and that should give me the yep. Yeah, that should give me the forty five degree chamfer. Now what I want to do is I want to go, but I want to trunk it. I want to clip the end of it. So I know that I want the. Um, I think I want the chamfers to be what three quarter of an inch. So three quarter and three quarters, one and a half. Oh God, I can't even figure this out. One and a half. So I think the height needs to be. Oh, I don't know what the height needs to be. Oh, what's the height? Oh, the height needs to be uh, 0.75. That should give me the three. Oh, but it's truncated. The apex is okay. The apex is uh, half of the size, half of a, uh, a, a length. The length is three and a half. It's three and a half by three and a half. So half of that is uh, three and a half, one and a half, one point seven five. But I want it there. Now that should give me a three-quarter inch chamfer with 45 degree angles right let me uh, let me fix my camera so I can see what the heck I'm doing now I think what I can do is I can take this and I can rotate it 45 degrees there it is right there check that out now what I want to do is I want to I want to I want to make my uh, beam, and I want this to be three and a half, three point five. I want to turn it into a solid, turn it into a solid, which is going to be uh, I guess a solid, and it's going to be I don't know three point five. I'm not sure. This is this is the tricky part. This is what I always kind of wondered about. Now can I? Glenn says point to point. Bump. There it is. Check that out. Now, by the way, I've just created a template plan. Look, I've saved this as a template corbel plan. I've saved it in my template plan. So this, I'm going to always use this to create my templates. In fact, if I want Control C, you know, suppose I wanted, suppose I want this uh, corbel at both sides. Control C, Control V, stick it over here and spin it around like this. Nine point to point. This is the. Uh, this is Glenn. Glenn's. Now look what I've got. I've got two two four by fours with uh, with the corbels at each end, right? Now what about materials? I don't know. I'm not sure. But let, let let's just test this out for right now. I'm going to make a symbol of this because this is going to be for my uh, uh, 
I don't know, uh, corbels, whatever, okay? So control, this is my template plan, right? And I'm going to just have a bunch of, this, uh, this is my work set. I'm going to use this as just to create these things. Do I want a corbel at one end or do I want a corbel at two ends? Whatever. But this is what I want right now. So control C, control new, new plan, uh, six to paste in plan. There it is right there. Do an H view of it. There it is. Now I'm going to turn that into a symbol. Tools, symbol, convert to symbol. And it's going to be mill work. Show advanced options. Uh, this is a, uh, what is it, a corbel? I don't know. It's a corbel, corbel one. Let's just make it corbel one, okay? So now I've created this corbel one. Okay, now, and it, it's in my library. I've just created that, there it is right there. It's a little corbel one by one. This is the whatever, whatever it is. Stop thing. Okay, I'm going to open up a plan I was working on, uh, Freeus Plan One, and I want to stick this corbel in this plan because I'm I'm using I don't know I'm I'm using whatever I'm using. So I'm going to take this. I'm, I'm going to make a I'm going to make a beam out of this thing. Okay. Oh wait a second. I want to be able to stretch this thing, okay? I got to think about this. Wait a second now. Where is it? Corbel. Uh, wait. Open symbol. Oh, I, I can't do it. How do I do that? I thought once in, in, in the library I could uh, open symbol. Maybe I can't. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep it simple for myself. Oh, okay, here it is, right here. So I want to, I want to, I'm going to create a symbol right now. Okay, symbol, tools, symbol, convert to symbol. It's mill work, advanced options. Ooh, how do I want to show that? You got to, you got when you when you create a symbol, you have to be very aware of where the uh, origin is. So actually, what I want to do is I want to rotate this around the z axis. That on. I think that I think that's the corbel right there. I th yeah. Okay. So now, now the question is, where is the origin? Specify or uh, specify origin. Zero. Zero. Oh, zero. Oh, zero. And this is a uh, corbel two. Now the question is, where is the origin? I'm telling you, the origin is. Back, middle, bottom. So it's in the back of the symbol because you got you got you got you just have to. I think this is the orientation you want it to be at. So it's gonna be the back, 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 middle. So it's in the middle here and bottom. So that's where the origin is. So now I want to be able to I want to be able to size this thing in, in an infinite number of ways. So I want to be able to create some stretch planes. In the x direction, uh, in the uh, x, it's going to be zero. It's going to be right in the center. So I can make it a, I can convert it from a three by to a four, six by. Uh, I can convert, convert it from a four by to a six by to an eight by. Okay, so that I know I want that to be at zero. Now this, in the y direction, is frontwards and backwards. Uh, I'm going to make it one inch because it's going to be one inch forward of the back of it. Now this is the tricky part. The Z plane is in the up and down direction, right? And it's a three and a half by three and a half. It's three and a half inches high. So this has to be one point seven five. So I bet I have now created a very nice four by four corbel that I can stretch to a six by twelve and whatever else, and everything should stay the same, okay? So there it is, corbel number two. So now Let's go back to my plan, uh, the freest plan. Yeah, I'll display it. What the, what the heck? There it is, right there. And I'm going to put this core. This thing is. This is going to be a. Uh, and I'm going to center it. Nine. I'm going to center it on this point right here. And I'm going to move it over to here. Now let's let's take a look at this thing. Let's see what I've done so far. 
Let's see where that quarrel is, and let's see if I can manipulate this thing. There's the quarrel right there. And actually, I want it to look like a fascia board. Timer up. Object. There it is. Do you like that? Now, this gets a little tricky, and, and it's the end grain condition right here. How do you want that end grain condition to look? This is not perfectly right, because actually, if I was smart, I would have made a square right here at the end. I would have been able to create a different texture. But I think I'm getting too carried away with it. But that's my, that's my deal right there. Uh, that's it right there. Now, here's a question. If I stretch this thing out like this, is it still going to be proportional? Oops. Nope. Control Z. Oh, that's not good. This is the tricky part with these symbols. Hang on a second. Let me, let me, let me let's look at it in vector view. Vector view. Hang on a second. F six. This is the this is a tricky this is this is the tricky part. I think that should be forty five and forty five. Uh, escape. I got, I got to change this. You. I want the height to be uh eleven point five. It's gonna be a four by twelve. Now it's gonna be a six by twelve. Five point five. There it is. I I bet I bet I have that correct. But the problem is, I think, is my open symbol sizing. Cancel. Look at this and uh, not good. Not good. I did this all wrong. I did this all wrong. Open sizing. I think that's right. I don't want to resize those things, okay? I, uh, I'm going to test this out first of all, okay? Holy camoly, man, what did I freaking do? Incorrect. Stop. Go into the next version. Go into the next part. Part two coming up. 